What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from DD TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, and subscribing. Everybody who's donated, those of you all who will, all of that information is in the description box below. Also, go over to my other YouTube channel, Dawson Speaks TV. Make sure you subscribe over there and hit that little bell so you get notifications when I drop a new video. Now, let's get into this topic. All right, now this video is for educational purposes, so as I approach this topic with respect, I need you all to please, please, please be respectful in my comment section. Thanks. Now this story comes out of Florida. Oh, I'm sorry, Atlanta, because he moved. He, him and his family, they moved up to Atlanta. He's no longer in Florida, so this story is coming out of Atlanta. Now, it's a story that many of you all heard on this particular YT channel first of Pastor Dwayne Dawkins cheating on his wife with a male amateur porn star or only fan star. Now, Pastor Dwayne Dawkins is speaking out publicly for the first time since the sex tape scandal. Now, Pastor Dwayne Dawkins frequently condemned homosexuality from the pulpit. Take a look. Jesus is the vine, and we are. There may be homosexuals and lesbianism in your family line, but it's not normal. There may be homosexuals and lesbianism in your family line, but it's not normal. What are you trying to do, Dawkins? I'm trying to start a rebellion in the tabernacle. I'm trying to wake up the Holy Ghost in you that's been asleep. Pastor Dwayne Dawkins revealed at a leaders and training conference in Atlanta that he made contact with a sneaky link. A sneaky link, that's what he said. Pastor Dawkins shared with the audience that he was aware that his sexual partner was recording, but he never thought the video would get leaked. Take a breath. Dwayne. Dwayne. For real? <laughs> Dwayne, you're going to insult our intelligence like that? You knew that this person was an OnlyFans star, a sex worker. Let's call it what it is, all right? I don't know. I mean, maybe you all know a sneaky link. Do people record you and you know they're recording you during a sneaky link when you're a married man, a father of three, and you've been pastoring a church for 14 years and you have an online ministry and you're always online putting scriptures out there and doing, you know, different things online with you and your wife? Come on, bruh. You knew what you were doing. And here's another thing. You knew going in that this individual was an OnlyFans performer. This is how, I guess, one of the ways he made money, probably his main source of income. You knew that going in. So you knew if he was recording you that it was going to go on OnlyFans. You were going to be the content. A married father, three sons, 14 years, pastoring a church down here in Fort Lauderdale. Man, bro, be real with yourself. All right, y'all. Now I have to calm. Down. I gotta calm down because this response is pissing me off, man. You know, a couple of fellas hit me up and they're saying, "Dawson, you know, on your YouTube channel, it's like you're trying to be Superman for these women, and that's not true." You all, I was in the social. I'm still in the social service field. I've seen a lot of things, and I've I tell you all this the all the time. The people who get hurt the most in religious institutions and in open society are women and children. And being in the social service field, you all, I've had to sit with women who contracted incurable sexually transmitted disease from their husbands or their boyfriends. And many of those women were church going women. And you all don't understand when a woman who just found out she has something that grandma soap can't wash off, sit in front of you in your office or if you're doing a home visit and you're in their house and they look you in the eye and say, I hate men. I don't trust men. I think they're all dogs, but Mr. Dawson, I like you. <laughs> That's what the women would say. And I had to say, God, why do I keep hearing this? What you want me to? That's why I have a YouTube show, y'all. So for you men who come over here and say that, oh, Dawson, you're just trying to make look. I'm reporting the news, man. Y'all tighten up. Tighten up. That goes for men and women. And don't let the church, your family, anybody push you into a relationship with somebody you don't want to be in a relationship with. You know that you're not going to stay committed. You know that you out here doing anything and everything with everybody. Why would you bring that into somebody else's life and you know that they want to be married or in a serious relationship and here you are out here just continuing doing things like you're single? 
And to you people in the church like Pastor Dwayne Dawkins, who so-called, as he says, struggling with his sexuality, y'all need to stop that mess. You are straight up lying to these men and women, you men and women in the church who are doing this. Well, Dawson, how do you know his wife didn't know? Well, I'm going to tell you from something he said a couple of months ago. Let's go back to his letter. To Mia, who has been an amazing and faithful friend and wife, was completely devastated. She did no wrong and did not deserve to have to endure this kind of trauma. Listen to this. Prior to meeting her, I never voiced my private struggles. Take a breath. Y'all know I'm full of information. I'll never forget nothing. Let's go back to that. Prior to meeting her, I never voiced my private struggles. Listen. Earlier in our marriage, an indiscretion of the same nature that was exposed happened and I shared with her, my family, my leaders and church what I was dealing with. Yeah, that was after you were married to her. For the people who say, well, why did she stay? You already done got a trap now. Well, she wasn't trapped. But she stayed thinking that you were delivered and you weren't going to do it again, pal. That's why she stayed. The church don't want to talk about this stuff. And then you all get mad at me because I'm bringing it to the light because the people who are hurt are the women and the children. And God forbid that the women speak out and say anything. Then all the men, oh, keep your mouth closed. You ain't supposed to speak in the church. A woman's supposed to be silent. And then you have the traveling evangelists and prophetess who will come and back them up. You got to respect your husband. You got to fall in line and be a good help me. God, yeah, he made a mistake, but that's okay. That's still your husband. But they don't have to live with the stuff you have to live with, ma'am. If I was you, I'd tell them all to kiss my natural black. Blessed assurance. Let me go on. Now, I said this in another video, and I'm going to say it again. When you people in the church are pushing these ex-gay people to marry heterosexual people in the church, and they get married because a lot of them are pleasing you all, and they want to conform to what people are doing in the church and make you all happy, listen to this. When they backslide, like Pastor Dwayne Dawkins did, they're never going to backslide with the opposite sex. They're going to go back to what they used to do. Think about that. Now, I'm going to let you all watch this video, and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary, and you all know me. I'm Dawson, and I won't hold back. Here, uh, mine is probably the most recent, I think. I'm not sure, but uh, I had connected with an individual of the same gender, and um, I've had throughout my childhood, up until even this moment, um, dealing with bisexual tendencies. Uh, anointed, called of God, and all of that, but did not have an opportunity to really dig into those issues and unpack them. Um, no excuse to it, just what it is. I connected with an individual. Uh, it's what they call a sneaky link. All right. Yeah. <laughs> these these church games I'm talking about, y'all. Can somebody please tell me why a, a, a dude said, all right, when this man is talking about a sneaky link with another man at a church conference. Like, bro, th these are the church games people talk about. That was an, an all right moment, sir. They call a sneaky link. All right. Yeah. And um, in that moment, he recorded it. Um, I was aware of the recording. Prior to it was asked if... He could record, and I thought it would be for his personal uh, pleasure, so to speak. Again, I preface this all by saying it was not right. It was wrong, but that's where I was in that moment. I had to acknowledge where I was. Uh, later on, that same day, he posted it. Um, he's a content creator. So this is someone who does this um, as their main or one of their sources of income or whatnot. I called him immediately when I was made aware of it uh, and said, why did you do that? You know, Please take it down. I didn't give consent for that, etc. cetera. Um, he hung up on me. I called back and he had blocked me. That was the last I'd ever heard from him. Um, that evening, you can imagine, I did not sleep. I have a wife and three beautiful sons pastor of church in South Florida for 14 years at that point. And family, loved ones, all of that. 
All right, now I'm going to end the video right there. There is a longer version of the video or a full version of the video on social media, and you all can go watch that. Uh, Pastor Dawkins, in the rest of that conversation, talked about wanting to leave the earth, but then he decided to live for his sons, and we are glad that you are still here with us. However, I stand by what I said in all the videos I've done, and this one too. Don't get into a relationship lying to a man or a woman and don't allow anyone in these religious institutions to push you all to get married. All right. And all of this stuff that Pastor Dwayne Dawkins talked about, he knew he was bisexual before he got with Tamia. He's saying he's bi. That's what he said. Because you did not tell Tamia before you all got married that you so-called struggled with all of this, you took away her choice. She's with you now. She got three kids with you. She's, I don't want to say she's stuck because she can leave. I don't know what y'all divorce and a what. But for you men and women who listen to this show, please, before you get into a relationship and you know that there's something that you need to tell that person, tell them. Don't take away their choice to tell them everything. It's important. Don't wait till you get married. And then you're going to come out with all this. No, tell them before you go in. Give them the choice to be with you, the real you. Flaws and all. Now I'm off of this. You all get down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this video. Until next time, it's your guy Dawson. Y'all take care of yourself and each other. Peace.